Well, in 1990, I spent the summer in Moscow, um, Russia. And um, during that time, we were doing, my John and I were doing Let's Start Talking. And with Let's Start Talking, you do a quick, um, where you just kind of get to know someone and you, you do English, you offer in conversational English using the Book of Luke. So we met a great group of young adults in Moscow and, um, and actually um, made good friends with them. And there was one in particular, he was a young um, scientist in Moscow and he was very well educated. He and his, his name is Vladimir and his um, wife uh, Olga and his young son Paul uh, became good friends with us quickly. And so, and with Let's Start Talking, every, every, every week you meet uh, for about an hour, a couple times a week and uh, just sit and talk. And so over the course of that summer, we got to know each other really well. And he was very honest with me through the whole summer. He's like, okay, Kelly, I cannot do the God thing. I mean, I get, I love that we're talking and I, I appreciate this, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a scientist and there's just no way I can, I can believe that there's a God. And so the summer ended and we had, he had us in his home and we shared his, you know, um, we shared many meals together and um, we just all became great friends. Well, we continued to write over the years. And so, um, and during that time, his tone changed as he remembered back to our conversations. And he continued with, there was a little church that um, actually was started by um, a, a small missionary group in Moscow. And so he continued to be friends with um, those people. And then as the years uh, clicked on um, and we exchanged letters, he, one of the letters, I, I want to say it was probably five years later um, that he said, I've been baptized. And I, and it all began across the table with you talking about in talk, practicing my English with you. Um, and I want to write you again, he said, and let you know that I've been baptized and that um, it's not something that I'm struggling with and it's something that I've embraced. I want to show you really quick, just the letters that we, that he sent us over the years. It was he, he mostly to me, but John also, um, but we had a pen pal we just wrote back and forth. Here's his, but, and I, this was in 1992. Um, we just don't really do this anymore, do we? Where we write um, longhand, but letters to each other. Um, but we did. That's kind of amazing. I guess for me, you know, um, I guess it just showed me, and I think this is, is with anything, like with relationships and all that, that God's doing a whole bunch that we don't see. Um, and that God's work goes far beyond what we what seeds we planted maybe five or six years ago, that God continues to turn things over in people's hearts. Um, and sometimes um, it, it, the fruit of it is faith. Um, and uh, I just, for me, I, I was just amazed at, first of all, um, the honesty he had at the very beginning. There's just no way I'm gonna believe. And then the beauty of him coming back those years later and writing me, and and he said specifically, I want to make sure that you're the one that I write because you, the the conversation began at our table. Now lots of people were in his life that helped him and um, along the way, but that little seed was planted even when he um, didn't think that it would ever bear any fruit. Um, and it, for me too, I think. Um, it just points to also to relationship that we continue to, we believe, right, as followers of Jesus that God is doing, His kingdom is part of the flow of what we live in and that we lean into His kingdom. Um, and then just by um, building relationships, loving, um, opening our lives up to those around us, even when they reject Him completely, there's no way. Um, just hanging in there and um, and loving them and sharing life and food and family with them, um, you just never know what might happen six years later.